Sarah Ca uh, Carter found the Achilles heel that's guaranteed to unravel Mueller's probe by Aaron Moreno for truthfeednews.com. Robert Mueller's Russia probe has officially gone way past its expiration date, but investigative journalist Sarah Carter believes that this latest development in the case may have Mueller waving the white flag soon. Mueller's special counsel just compiled uh, with the federal judge's order to hand over all evidence related to former National Security Advisor Lieutenant General Michael Flynn's case, indicating that Flynn may seek to withdraw his guilty plea, which could be the first move to start unraveling Mueller's flimsy investigation. It's about time. From Sarah Carter, in December, Judge Emmett G. Sullivan ordered special counsel Robert Mueller to provide Flynn's attorney with any and all information that may have been withheld from this case. Sullivan uh, took over as the presiding judge after District of Columbia Judge Rudolph Contreras was recused from the case on December 7th. There was no explanation as to why Contreras, who presided over Flynn's guilty plea on December 3rd, was recused from the case. Flynn pled guilty to one count of lying to the FBI, despite testimony provided to Congress by former FBI Director James Comey, where he stated that the agents did not believe Flynn had lied about his conversation with former Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak in December of 2016. Sullivan ordered the government to produce any evidence in its possession that is favorable to defendant and material either to defendant's guilt or punishment. The government is further directed to produce all discoverable evidence in a readily usable form, the order stated. For example, the government must produce documents as they are kept in the usual course of business or must organize and label them clearly. A column appearing in National Review, former assistant U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York, Andrew McCarthy, speculated that the judge may have been concerned that favorable evidence was withheld in the case. Flynn's attorney, Robert Kellner, declined to comment on the development. Special counsel spokesman Peter Carr also declined to comment. Contreras' recusal raised suspicion among lawmakers that have been investigating the FBI's handling of the Russia investigation for the past year. Last week, however, congressional investigators with the House Oversight Committee discovered a series of text messages between embattled FBI Special Agent Peter Strzok and his paramour, FBI Attorney Lisa Page, revealing that Contreras and Strzok were close friends, as previously reported. Strzok was also one of the two FBI agents who had originally interviewed Flynn. It wasn't a definitive answer, but certainly raises significant questions. Representative Jim Jordan of the House Oversight Committee told this reporter last week, the text message chain uncovered by investigators is telling. In one particular chain of messages sent on July 25, 2016, Page tells Strzok, Rudy is on the FISC. Did you know that? Just appointed two months ago. At that point, the pair continues to discuss other issues, but comes back to Contreras. I did. We talked about it before and after. I need to get an, uh, together with him later. Strzok appeared to return to his discussion about Contreras, as reported last week. Lawmakers cautioned that while the text messages show Contreras and Strzok were friends, there is still no definitive answer on why the judge was recused from the case. Strzok, who was at the center of the investigation alleging Trump colluded with Russia, was removed from special counsel and demoted in the FBI after tens of thousands of text messages revealed he was vehemently biased against Trump. Sullivan's request for Mueller to turn over all evidence came after the plea, and the judge noted that even if Mueller believed the information was not material to the case, it would be up to Sullivan to decide whether or not to disclose the information to Flynn's attorney. 
the implications that possible exculpatory evidence was withheld by Mueller's office would be a significant development for Flynn. In January, Mueller and Flynn's lawyer filed a joint status report with the court stating that they were not ready to move forward with a sentencing hearing. The court filing stated that due to the status of the special counsel's investigation, the parties do not believe that this matter is ready to be scheduled for a sentencing hearing at this time. It's not certain what Flynn's next step will be, one uh, option being discussed by attorney uh, pundits and supporters is that he withdraw his guilty plea before sentencing. And this is when Strzok, in those text messages, he was trying to set up a meeting with the, with the Contreras or uh, the, they wanted to set up a meeting, but not alone. They wanted more people there and they, they didn't put that in the article. In other words, it shows that it was a setup from the get go. Um, you know, the, you know, they should be put behind bars for what they're doing. Uh, and, and, and actually even Lisa Page is involved because she's, uh, she's asking here about all that, all this information. So, uh, she's actually conspired, uh, in this situation, which makes her guilty. Um, unbelievable, unbelievable, but this is going to put it, that's why, uh, Mueller knows he's, he's done actually. Uh, once they get a hold of all the text messages, Mueller is done. His whole investigation is done. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.